Hey, what's up everybody? It's Valar. Hope you're doing well. Happy Friday to you all. And here we are looking at this Fusion. Uh, I'm going to do a video on the Fusion. Why not? I know everybody's doing one, but might as well join in the bandwagon. Anyway, uh, so this is ridiculously hard. It's not going to be good for free-to-play players. And player him in their own fashion, just like Ebenezer Scrooge came in here and said, you know, F you, give us all your money, and uh, we don't really care. Who cares about goodwill this time of year? Because the only thing that's on our mind is greed, 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 greed. They do have a demon spawn faction that they probably belong in. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. uh, so I'm going to look at it from a fun standpoint, though. Obviously, this fusion is ridiculous, right? Like It's ridiculously hard. I think I have Towering Titan. I know I have Exemplar because I just pulled Exemplar in the double void when I, I only pulled like 10 void shards. Uh, I was trying, or no, that double void when they had Venus, uh, the 10 chance, the 10x chance for Venus, and I only got her out of it, which I thought was underwhelming at the time, but I guess I'm happy now. Basher, I could swear, has been used in one, if not two, fusions. I feel like he was using the Molly fusion, or he was either using the Molly fusion and or the Harvest Jack fusion. I feel like he's been used in something, if not two things, recently. I don't have Roland, so I'm going to have to grind for her. Which is a hard grind. So there's a lot of grinding going on in this. Um, but there are some things where it feels like if you stick with it, you might be able to do it. This champion's pretty damn overpowered. Now, he's mainly an arena champion. So that, that actually kind of sucks, too, right? The, right? the reason that kind of sucks is we have tons of arena champions. I mean... Uh, like, there's tons of champions that are really only good in Arena and Legendary status, right? And you only use four people in Arena. So it's not a lot of these wind up just getting put in your vault. Like, I'll give you an example. Royal Huntsman. He's great. He's actually pretty good in some other areas, too. But he's pretty much an Arena sharpshooter, like, single-target damage type of guy. I love Royal Huntsman, and he's helped me a lot. And I'll use him from time to time. But there's too many champions like that, I feel like. I feel like we need something different. Uh, he does have good crowd control and things too, so, but it's a little bit underwhelming because of the way Arena is. Unless they really are going to have plans to develop Arena so wonderfully, I don't know though. I mean, we'll wait, well, let's wait and see on that. Anyway, here's the stuff you got to do to get them. It's in the news. You guys can go through and read it. Take a look at that. But there's a lot of events. Towering Titans available from the Summon Rush going on right now. Thank God I don't have to do that one. <laughs> Uh, because I'm, I don't really feel like pulling my shards. I actually have like 94, 95 ancient shards, uh, and I want to wait till a double ancient event pop, pops up. Now, this is just pure speculation on my part, but if you look where it says Vanguard Summon Rush Event 2, December 24th through December 26th, and Basher is available in that as well, I feel like th this would actually be some another opportunity to maybe play and get some back in people's good graces a little bit. But it's Polarium, so got to be careful with that. If this was me, and I was running the show, I would say, okay, that's Christmas. I mean, it's three days of Christmas, right? So the other thing, too, is that's when people are most engaged with their families and everything, too. So I feel like what they really should do for this Summon Rush event, the one Summon Rush 2, that's December 24th through December 26th, it should be all shards are double chance void shards sacred shards and ancient shards it's christmas why not give us that you'll i mean that's actually a big 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 thing that players would go nuts for and i feel like that would put a little bit of goodwill player still gonna make a lot of money because they're gonna sell packs like crazy doing that um so it's not like they're you know giving you anything for free here <laughs> they're just giving you an extra chance at an already low chance to get these amazing legendaries so that would be what I would do um, to show a little bit of goodwill. I feel like they missed an opportunity to show some goodwill here to make it a little bit easier fusion. Okay, that's fine. Um, but it is what it is, right? I mean, it's, it's, the, it's a consistent theme right now. It, we can't expect anything different. It, it, the positive is predictable, right? So it's a rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Very, very predictable. It's not Cernic, unfortunately. I wish Cernic came back because that would have shown a ton of goodwill to people. They would have had people saying, okay, Polarium, you're going in the right direction. Give us this easy future for Sir Nick again. Everybody can get Sir Nick. My opinion is, who really cares if everybody gets Sir Nick? I mean, that, yes, okay, that there'd be more Sir Nicks around. But it's only one aspect of the game. 
where I'm playing another person. Most of this game is PvE. So uh, so having Sir Nick, I don't care if someone can farm the rest of their dungeons faster or it's help their roster. If it's that person, it's a significant boost anyway. So, all right. Um, but you can look through here, see where you can get all these champions. It's a long read as far as like making sure where you get this, where you get that. Your head could probably spin looking at this, actually, uh, saying, hey, man, how do I get this? How, like, for instance, I've got to get Rowan. So I've got, I've got to get Basher. I can do him on the Summer Rush on Christmas, or I can fuse him from Bulwark. I'm not giving up my Bulwark because Bulwark's actually pretty good. So I want to get Bulwark. I'll focus on the Dungeon Divers next week. Steadfast Marshall, I don't know if I have him. So it looks like there's going to be some another Artifact Enhancement event. I could probably fuse Basher out of these four champions. I may not actually do this here. Uh... Because I'm only going to do that, participate in that if it's doubles chances in any way, shape, or form. So, all right, I'll, I'll be able to fuse him. Be a lot of grinding for a couple weeks, but mainly, mainly, mostly next week actually. And then the artifact enhancement. All right, I actually think I have Painsmith too. Haru specs that I need from this next arena assault coming up. Rowan, another champion chase tournament. Okay, so <laughs> that does that mean we have three summon related events coming up in the next? We may have four actually. I, it looks like at least three summon-related events in the next two weeks. The one we have going right now, this Champion Chase Tournament, and then there's actually a uh, the December 24th or December 26th one. You may want to get like a, you know an organizer out or something like that. Just block out your calendar for the next two weeks. I mean, you're probably not busy with anything else anyway, so just, just, just sit here and play Raid Shadow Legends the entire time. For the next two weeks. Uh, anyway, uh, so Rowan, Daywalker, Champion Chase, Champion, more Champion training events. This is the one we have. Is this the one we have now? No, no, that's another Champion training event. Okay. Oh, tournament. Okay. So we have the Champion training event, and this is a Champion training tournament. So you can get three out of the four. And hopefully, Daywalker's not too bad. I think I do have a Daywalker as well, too. I'm not sure if I have all these. Unfortunately, I think I threw Eviscerator into someone recently because I figured, oh, they're not going to use her again. Boom, here they come, they do. But that's my fault. Exemplar I already have, but you can kind of see it's going to take some doing with a lot of this stuff, right? So we'll, we'll look at uh, we'll look at Tormund. I think it's Tormund, right? It's uh, Tormund the Cold uh, in a Dwarven faction. There he is, Void Champion. He looks pretty sweet, right? I mean, he looks like a re he's kind of a reskin Mountain King, though, in a way. Just with like cooler frost type gear on him and icy looking weapons. Okay, and you can see his his abilities are amazing. His passive is his biggest thing, but this is actually pretty cool too. Like I was saying, I'm pairing him with Trunda. I did recently get Trunda, so if I can get this guy, and I'm gonna try for him just because I already have about half of what I need for him. So. That part's an advantage because I've been lucky with the Void Shards. Well, well actually, I mean, technically, none of these are like, oh, yay, I've got all these, the Void Epics. But uh, I've pulled a lot of shards, I guess I should say. Anyway, so this AoE, it's a small chance, a 25% chance for the freeze. However, this instantly activates the skill whenever they're both under a freeze in HP. That's pretty situational, but if you can do this and get a freeze and an HP on the HP burn, which Trunda does. Maybe you bring in, like, uh, I'm thinking of that other guy, Gurgo, the other Void guy, Gurgo. Um, do some freezes and stuff, and then, <laughs> and this guy on here, too. You, you could just be instantly activating the skill, skill 1, which is pretty amazing. I mean, it's actually a pretty amazing skill 1, too. Um, and then he has a cleanse from a single target enemy, which that's pretty cool. And, and then if they're under... Uh, not a cleanse, excuse me. <laughs> Remove buffs from a target enemy. Um, and then he attacks them. And he steals the buffs if they're under the freeze. And then the whole thing with the freeze and HP burn. A little bit situational, but it's almost like they paired him to go with like a Trunda. Like a Dwarven legendary type pairing. Um, another AoE that has block buffs and heal reduction. Under enemies with freeze. And also the provoke. Under enemies not on freeze. <laughs> and decreases the cooldown of one random skill of each ally by one turn for anyone who has a freeze and an HP burn. So more situationally with someone who does the HP burns. Um, the defense aura with 33% in all battles, that's actually really high. Uh, one of the higher ones, I believe. So that's pretty cool. 
I mean, this passive is just retarded, right? I mean, just ridiculous. Uh, with the 15% chance of placing a pre freeze, anytime an enemy receives any buff, gets healed, or has their turn meter filled. So it's like countering most everything, which is kind of weird, right? Uh, and, I mean, that's pretty crazy. Uh, and then he gets revived as well. Uh, so that passive is just absolutely bonkers. Um, so I will try for this guy. Uh, my opinion is, I don't know for sure. I'd like to test him out and see. He could hit terribly bad. He's defensive. They haven't came out with any overpowered champions. Like Molly is great, but I don't consider her overpowered. She's just really good. Uh, but she's a true tank, which is really nice. Harvest Jack's actually pretty good now. He was pretty good in the first place. Black Brackus, and I did a video on Brackus. Brackus is just decent. He's he's not like godly in any way. I'd say he's pretty mid tier actually. Uh, this guy, pretty top tier actually so far. Uh, just looking at it, and what are the ratings on here? You know, not like the highest ratings in the world. It's only twenty four people, but overall good. And yeah, he's terrible in clan boss. That, there's no clan boss utility. I feel like with this guy at all, obviously. He's crowd control in dungeons, and he's arena focused. So, on a positive note, I am going to try to get the guy. Maybe we get lucky again, because somebody was saying something about... Cyrilla actually said there's another New Year's fusion. Maybe they do bring back Sir Nick, because if I remember correctly, Sir Nick was actually around New Year's, not really around Christmas. So, hopefully they do this fusion, and then they give everybody Sir Nick. would be absolutely amazing if they did that. Uh... But I doubt they're going to do that because they want you to chase Sir Nick. They're going to want you to chase this guy too. <laughs> People are going to be chasing this guy hard, I feel like, even if they don't get him. So if you can do it, go for it. If not, don't worry about it. That, that's kind of my take on it. Like, Look, I bitch about Plurium and I'm going to continue to bitch about Plurium. I think it's greedy what they do. But a lot of these app games are all greedy that way. So look at it another way. All right? And I'm not justifying anything Plurium's doing by saying this at all but i am looking at it from a perspective of just take it back a step and just try to have fun with the game right so if you cannot complete all the way to here don't worry about it or if like that's your ultimate reward that's the other way you could look at it say okay i'm gonna farm the hell out of food for two you get two weeks on this event right so it's a long one it does take a lot of grinding but that's not undoable it's just a lot of food grinding um but if you're like, hey, I want to get Exemplar, or hey, that'd be, that'd be cool if I just got her, and I'll be call it a day, all right? Or even if you got to, like, the Epic Skill Tome here, the Legendary would be nice, but all right, just have fun. Do what you can. That's, that, that's basically it. And the Arena Assault, the Arena Assault events are actually pretty good. So I will say these, I wish these were, and this gives you a full week to do it, actually, too. So this one, I don't feel like it's that hard, because uh, you should grind Arena anyway to get your Great Hall up. A lot of people neglect Arena... And I was one of them the, for quite a long time. But this is attainable. So I, I would say you should focus on that one. The Summon Rush is ridiculous. I mean, these things are getting more and more ridiculous. Towering Titan, Titans behind a 6,000. I mean, let's call it 6,000 just to round up. A 6,000 point hurdle to get to them. That is an insane amount of shards. Insane amount. Like 3,500 should be like the absolute top. And that's, that, that's, getting, that's getting tough too. I mean, you gotta pull sacreds. You gotta pull everything you got, and it'd be just better to fuse them, possibly. So I'd look at getting the rares if you can. I'll cut the video at that. My opinion is the guy's really good. I want to try to get him, and I'll probably get him. But I'm not gonna spend money to get him. If I can't get him the way, if I try and I don't get him, oh well. I mean, it's not really. He's great. But do I feel like he's actually game-changing for me? The answer is no. So anyway, with that, I'll, I'll end the video. Please like this video, and please subscribe to the channel. We're really growing pretty good. I, I'm really happy about that. And leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you want to just rage, go ahead. Go in there and rage. Uh, or if you want to actually give us a positive spin on it, go ahead as well. I like to engage with you guys and kind of chit-chat and everything too. Anyway, thank you very much for checking it out. Have a great weekend. Cheers.